Teacher. Not you. Good evening. Hi, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Teacher. Hello. Hi, good evening. Welcome back. Teacher, I, I, I really say anything. No, I really say not one, one thing. One, one. Uh-huh. I crashed. When I riding my bike today, yes, no way. Right now, you are in a car accident. No, I don't know street accident. <laughs> <laughs> so you crash against a wall. I crash when I I crash with the with the street. With the sidewalk. Yeah, with the sidewalk. Oh wait, and you're okay. Eh, so so. You have to go to the hospital. No, no, it's not necessary. It's a, a one of the level accident. It's no ten. Ah, uh, thank God. All right, and you are near home. Yeah, I'm at home. Ah, okay. I'm sorry to hear that. But I'm hungry. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I imagine. Hungry and in pain. <laughs> Yay. I know. What a welcoming this week. Yeah, this is a good Monday. I see. Oh my God, I'm so sorry. Hope you feel better. Okay, everyone, good evening. Welcome back after this crazy weekend. Did you have time to work on the platform? I see some people that still need to work on the platform urgently. Urgently, urgently. Yes. Let's see. Especially if you haven't completed the, the midterm exam. Those are the ones that need to work on the platform urgently okay if you have completed the midterm then in unit one and two then you're okay you are saved by the bell all right let's get started let's see what's going on today oh my god we almost finished this month that's what i see this is almost the end of this month. All right. Let's see. So this is our video conference number 11. This is on Monday, November the 27th of 2023. So we're almost done with this month and with this year as well. So we just have this week and next week. Next week, the first week of December, it's over. All right. So the usual reminders that we've got to do for attending the video conference and your attendance is really important. Remember, it's determined. Okay, for the approval. Okay. Yeah, remember that after the 24th, we must have completed the midterm exam. So that means that unit one and two should be finished and the midterm as well. All right. 
well, I hope I can I can have more participation today. And as well, I'm gonna guide you through this exercises as well. I just got this flu that was killing me on Friday and mostly over the weekend. Uh, but today I feel like I'm recovering a little bit. So we're gonna start the unit three because this is the week number three. And at the end of this session, participants will be able to make polite requests at the workplace by using modal verbs, modal auxiliary verbs like could, should, would. All right. So before anything else happens, I'm going to have the attendance taken. Let's see. Ana Cristina. Ana Cristina. I see her on the... Okay, if something happens, you can write on the chat. Don't forget to write the explanation or the circumstances that you're going through on the chat, please. All right. Let's see. Goodness. <clears throat> Brian Ulises. I'm alive. I'm alive. <laughs> All right, still alive. Okay, David Miguel. Present teacher. Hello. Is everything okay? Okay. All right. Nice. Let me see. Deborah Beatriz. <laughs> Hello. Good evening. Present teacher. Good evening. Hi. Doris, 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 no, she's not here. Okay, Elvin, Gabriel, Elvin. Well, Elvin usually turns on his camera. So that means it's not here because I don't see him. Okay. Gracias, Marisol. Hi, good evening. Good evening. How are you? Very fine. And you? I'm okay. I'm I'm better than last Friday. I'm better than over the weekend. Thanks for asking. Hector Manuel. Hi, teacher. Good evening. Hey, how are you? I'm fine, thank you. All right, so the week, the last week was over, so now you're better. Um, <laughs> not it's still good. in trouble. Yes. <laughs> oh my God, why? Um, so much work. Yes, sure. Too much. Too much. Mm -hmm. Imelda Xiomara. Good evening, teacher. Hello, how are you? Just good. Very good. All right, nice. Ivan Arnoldo. Good teacher. How are you? How are you I doing? Do. Doing great? Great. All right, nice. Joanna de la Paz. Good evening, teacher. Hi, good evening. How's it going? Good? Fine? Yeah, I'm tired. <laughs> All right, tired. <laughs> Jocelyn Karina. Jocelyn. Karen Melissa. Hi, person. Hi. How's it going? Hello? How's it going? Mm, fine. Fine. Yeah. Right. Glad to hear that. Kevin, 
No, Kevin is not going to continue, I think. All right. Laura? Present teacher. All right. How are you, Laura? Fine, fine. All right, nice. Maria Irma? Present teacher. Hello, how are you? Fine, thank you. How are you? I'm okay. I'm alive. <laughs> yes, thank you. Miguel Angel. Present teacher. Hi. How's it going? Mm. Dinner. <laughs> having dinner. Yeah, having dinner. Enjoy. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Nelson. Present teacher. Good evening. How are you? Good evening. Very, very tired. Very tired. How many yes. hours been working? Working the weekly. Oh, you work over the weekend? Yes. Because of the black weekend? No, no. Only for um, auditoria. Audit. Audit. In this week. Yes. You audit had audit. This week. Oh, my goodness. Sorry. Yeah. Mm. Paula? Paula, Paula? Present teacher. Hello, how are you? I'm great. I'm great. Nice. I'm happy to hear that. Ricardo Mauricio? Yes. Good evening, teacher. Present. Hello, how are you? I can't take anymore. And it's <laughs> only Monday. It's just Monday. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> it's true. But this week is going to be very fast. You will see. Yes. Yeah, it's going to flash. It's going to be yeah. a flash. Pretty sure of that. <laughs> yeah. Wendy? Present teacher. How about you? How do you feel? I'm fine. Nice. Glad to hear that. And Mr. Wilmer Alexander Perez. Present teacher, good evening. Hey, good evening. How's it going? Hey, nice. <laughs> so, so. Yes. <Yeah. Yeah. laughs> Tired. <laughs> Too much work. All right. Well, you feel better. Hope you feel better. Yes. I see some people saying, I'm here. Oh, that was Jocelyn. She wrote on the chat. Okay, nice. Well, what I was telling you that unit, I mean, week three, unit three. We start a new unit, okay? Espero que sigan practicando los verbos en pasado. Porque de eso nadie se libre. <laughs> Speak English, you have to know the verse in past so that you can narrate events that happened in the past. So we start more content on your unit, but it doesn't mean that what we learned through the unit two, it's over. No, we still continue using it, okay? All right. All right. <laughs> we have some questions. Do you help your coworkers with their tasks? Do you ask for help to your coworkers? What's a polite request? And what phrases do you use when asking for help? Think about these questions.
Ok, mientras le vamos dando pensamiento a esas questions, no se preocupen, yo se las voy a compartir. Don't worry. Don't panic. Vamos a mostrar from ok, ok, ok. Vamos a mostrar from the manual what it looks like, ok. To start the unit 3. Let me see. I guess this is the one. Yes. That's how we start the unit three. We finish the unit two here. And we'll start right here. Okay. Yes, it means the unit three. Communication at the workplace. Hmm. Si lo sabremos. Que importante la comunicación. En el lugar de trabajo. So, communication at the workplace. May polite requests at the workplace. Do you usually help your coworkers with their task? Do you often ask coworkers to help you with your task? Vale. De esto podemos hablar un sinfín. ¿Sí? ¿Qué tan importante es la, la buena comunicación en el trabajo? ¿Qué tan importante es saber pedir las cosas? O sea, no, sabe, no lo sabemos hacer todo. A veces no logramos hacerlo todo. Siempre necesitamos de nuestros compañeros. O igual ellos necesitan de nosotros. Así que de eso es lo que vamos a hablar. Ahí está. Lesson. Obviamente, el tema de inglés es los models. Yo creo que en español es lo mismo. Tener modales. ¿Sí? Pedir las cosas de buena manera, con cortesía y todo esto, ¿verdad? Que hacen que, que la gente, pues, esté dispuesta quizás a ayudar o a echarnos la mano. Pero, ¿qué tan importante es que, bueno, de la forma que nosotros tratamos a los demás con amabilidad, pues también esperamos que nos salga. Entonces, de eso se trata esta, esta lesson. Communication at the workplace. Ahí les dejaba yo en el chat de WhatsApp la imagen. Aquí ya tenemos ejemplo, ¿verdad? De cómo pedir las cosas de, de manera muy amable. Would you? Would you mind? Eso es como, ¿podrías? Por favor, si ¿sí? te importaría, sí. Entonces, vamos a discutir primero las questions que les compartía. Bien. Let me just show you this one more time. From here. Do you help your coworkers with their tasks? ¿Les ayudan ustedes a sus compañeros en trabajo con sus actividades? Yes, I help my coworkers when they need uh, to, to print something or when they need uh, help with the technology or when they need to make a report or when they need to whatever. Con cualquier actividad que ellos necesiten, ¿ok? I'm just giving simple examples. Probably you, you help with more, right? Do you ask? Y esto es lo contrario. Si usted pide ayuda a sus coworkers, do you ask for help to your coworkers? Yes, when I can, or when I don't know how to do something, I ask for help, or my partners help me with technology, or with these programs, or with this, or that, or that, ¿ok? What's a polite request? ¿Quién tienen ustedes por una polite request? And what phrases do you use when asking for help? ¿Y qué frases podríamos utilizar? Obviously, in English, when asking for help. What's a polite request? Es una petición formal o una petición de manera amable educada, okay? So, cuando re, re, when we request for a favor, cuando solicitamos o pedimos un favor, pues definitivamente lo tenemos que hacer de esa manera, right? So you're going to discuss these questions. I'm going to make a small groups. Let me see if I can. No tiene que ser así como preguntas super elaboradas, but at least try to understand the questions and try to give a your response, all right? Here we go.
Okay, let's go to practice. Something wrong here? Holy. Okay. Vaya. Solo tenemos que practicar. La respuesta de las preguntas, me imagino, sí. o me perdí. Creo que sí, solo la respuesta de las preguntas. Ahorita, espera. Aquí tengo el PDF. Ña, 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 ña. Ña, 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 ña. ¿Qué, ¿Qué página era? Que me perdí. Quiero ver. Eh, ella mandó la imagen al grupo. Ah, vaya, vaya, pero no. Igual lo quiero ver porque la página. Aquí está. Bye. Do you ask for help to your co covers? Coworkers, sorry. Miss, I have a question. Tell me. Eh, the question number number three and number four not is similar. No, what's a polite request? ¿Qué significa una polite request? And what phrases do you use? ¿Qué frases ah, se utilizan? Uh -huh. O sea que digamos la última sí puede ir como could you Las help frases. Ajá, Yo, could ajá, las frases. Do you mind? Is it okay? Uh -huh. Ah, okay. Uh -huh. Thanks. All right. Paraphrase. What? Amanda. What? Hola. Paraphrase. De ahora. En polite. Creo que eh, what's a polite request? Creo uh -huh. que son eh, cuáles son los como mm, que tan educado. No sé, como un requisito. Pero, no sé. O sea, 
Dice, ¿qué frases usas cuando pides ayuda? Dice la última. Ajá, o sea que ahí. Ajá, pero no esa tercera quiero. es la que no, no le entiendo Vaya, muy bien. What's a polite request. Vamos a ver. ¿Qué tan educado eres? ¿Sería Débora o no? ¿O al pedir Ahorita ayuda. Estoy Eh, dice que es una petición cortés. Ajá, o sea, es como es ser educado. Ajá, o sea, como, como, o sea, para ti, ¿qué significa o cómo pedirías algo cortésmente? Pero vamos a contestar con una frase de, por ejemplo, como decir, eh, yo pido las cosas por favor, o, o como. Uh -huh. Por ejemplo, eh, yo usaría, would you be so kind to help me when the customer, que Vaya. sería, podría ser tan amable en ayudarme con este espérese, cliente. Espérese, pero pero esa es en la cuatro, esa es en la cuatro, así como lo están planteando ustedes. En la tercera les está preguntando para ustedes qué es algo, o sea, qué es... Hello, Wilmer. Wilmer. Hello. ¿Ya las tiene? Eh, no, todavía no. Ah, ok. Me avisa. Bye. All right, finish. Not everyone has finished yet.
All right. Yeah, I see now everybody's back. Anybody will participate? Anybody who has an opinion? Let's see. Mm -hmm. Maybe not all the four questions, but a couple of them, right? Gracia? Okay. Number one. Mm -hmm. Me la pregunto yo solita. No, just the answer. We can see the question, no problem. Ah, vaya. Yes, I do when we have a lot of work in common and can guide you. You want how to do it. Mm -hmm. You need some guidance, right? So you ask for recommendation, instructions, all right, when there's too much work. All right, nice. Yes. All right, Brian. Me. Mm -hmm. uh, the second. All right. Okay. Uh, yes, I asked to my co workers around no, four uh, different things like uh, sales, a uh, product, or characteristics, uh, or uh, functions. Mm -hmm. All right. Nice. Anybody else? Anyone else? No, nobody else? Anybody has an idea what a polite request is? Somebody? Always say please and um, thank you. <laughs> to say please, to say thank you, to be nice, to be kind when we ask for help. Yeah, that's right. That's a polite request. True. Okay, and what other phrases do we use to request for a favor? I need your help. I need your help. <laughs> <laughs> please help me. Okay. It is so important. Can you help me, please? Could you help me, please? Yeah, that's right. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna speak from my own perspective. It is so important to have a good communication at work because there will be so many times in which we need help. And there will be so many times in which other people need our help. So if we have good communication, if we share ideas, if we interact in an educated, polite, and kind way, definitely things are going to flow faster, going to flow better, right? So in my case, I always, always talk to my coworkers, about things that we want to run, projects that we want to start, things that we have to do. And we usually distribute the work or they give me ideas or suggestions, recommendations, or if they need any help, they come and ask me for suggestions or recommendations or sometimes even for literal help, right? So we help each other and that, that way, I mean, collaborative work and teamwork works better. All right, so thanks for participating, definitely. Yeah, we gotta be a helpful employee, gotta help others, right? Sometimes we just say, all right, some people just don't wanna do much. But if we have, uh, let's say a teamwork philosophy, then everybody has to work because everybody's part of a team. So we're gonna provide some definitions, right? We have polite, request, appointment, help, and arrange. So we have some definitions right here. I see the vocabulary, let me just, okay. With the images, we get an idea, right? Being polite, being kind, showing models, manners, Request when we request others for help, probably this picture. 
an appointment, something we have to do at a certain time at a certain place. Help, probably we cannot do it by ourselves, but we request for help and arrange probably a meeting, a conference, make all the arrangements, right? So that's what you should say. All right. Well, I request appointment, help, and arrange again. The new marketing manager is very, he greets everyone in the company. He's always happy. So you have to think about appointment. It. Okay. Appointment, request, polite, help, arrangement. Let's go with the second one. Let's try to read and let's try to get the idea. When you ask for, don't forget to say, please. The chief brand office has an with the regional inspector. Synonym of the word favor. And check the agenda to the next auditing meeting. Oh, the ones that had out, audits, this, <laughs> the auditing me. All right. Okay. Let's read it. Let's read it one more time, and then you come up with an answer. I'm going to give you a couple of minutes, okay? Sorry, I'm just going to get some water. You got it? Not yet. The number one is fall it. All right. So the new marketing manager is very polite. He greets everyone yes. in the company. Second is number five, teacher. All right, let's go. <laughs> yes, in the order because of the words. Uh -huh. Number the second two is help. Okay, when you ask for help, don't forget the word, the word, please. It is so uncomfortable when people just give orders, right? Like, come here, do that, clean here, go there, print this. Hello, the word, please. <laughs> the chief brand office has an... with the regional inspector today in the afternoon. Appointment. As an appointment. Exactly. Unfortunately, the space was not enough, okay? And synonyms of the word favor? Arrange. 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 Hmm. Or request. 
and request. Request. Yeah. I have a request. I need to ask you for a favor. That's a synonym. And check the agenda too. Arrange. To arrange the next auditing meeting. That's right. Okay, good. Good, good, good. So make polite requests at the workplace. Making polite requests. Would you mind? Esa es como la forma más, más educada de decir, podría, por favor, usted ayudar, right? Would you mind looking over my assignment? I'm not sure it's right. Okay. Could I leave class 10 minutes early today? No. Nah. <laughs> okay. Take a look at the example dialogues and create a similar one. Making polite requests at your workplace. I think this is a conversation we have from the manual. I just have it like this, but let me show you from the manual. Sometimes it's better that you don't get lost. I got the name was Los Examples. Let me see. Well, they have it like in different in different requests, but I'm gonna show you here. Could you print out this budget file right away, Victor? Would you mind opening the window? Sure, no problem. But aquí tenemos como mínimas conversacioncita, ¿verdad? Como nada más pedir algo y que la otra persona pues acceda a hacerlo. Les decía que el would you mind es la forma más polite. Solamente que recordar que después de would you mind, el verbo se tiene que poner en ING. Would you mind opening? Would you mind printing? Would you mind going? Yes? Y con el could you, pues no, el, el verbo va base form. Could you print out this budget file right away? Right. Eso es lo que presenta el, el file, I mean, the PDF that you have. Y les piden que hagan cinco requests that you need to ask in your workplace. Cinco favores más comunes que ustedes pidan en su trabajo. Escríbanlos acá. Lo pueden escribir con could you please o could you bla 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 o would you mind. Bye. Veamos, hagamos algunos examples. Let's do it. Algo que alguien en mi oficina siempre pide es <laughs> Could you please turn off the AC? Porque esa persona es bien violenta. Entonces esa persona, I'm sorry. Siempre está diciendo, no puede ir para ir al Could you please turn off the AC? Please, Bye. please. Ajá, aunque esas cositas, digamos que, pues no tiene mucho que ver con el trabajo, pero sí son cosas que a alguna persona le afecta. Yes, y bueno, ahí están los otros calurosos que toda la vida quieren tener el AC bien bajo. Bye. Another common request. Would you mind making? Ah, esta soy yo. 60. Quiero ver cuántos estudiantes tenía esta vez. Sí. 68 copies of this page. No sé si soy yo. Right. Would you mind making 68 copies of this page? Vaya, ese se fija. Voy a ponerle highlighter. Acá, pues el turn off. Lo dejé tal cual, no le, pon, no le puse turning off, porque inicié con could. Pero aquí como inicié con would you mind, al verbo sí le pongo ing. ¿Yes? Entonces van a escribir cinco de aquellos requests más comunes que ustedes o hagan o reciban en el trabajo. ¿Yes?
Vale, voy a dar chance para que la hagan y luego la van a compartir con sus partners. Vaya, yo ya las tengo y me avisan cuando ustedes las tengan. Y así es, preguntamos. Bueno, no preguntamos, decimos. Aquí ahorita les estoy diciendo. Solo son tres, porque tú ya las hizo ella, creo yo. Tres, no eran cinco. Creo, teacher, ¿eran tres o eran cinco? Espérate. Vaya. Tres, entonces. Oh. Hola, ¿está Hola, sí, tres, ¿verdad? Sí, tres. tres. Okay. Ah, bueno. <ríe> ok, ahorita lo termino. Y son tres. A ver...
por ejemplo, vaya, tú puedes decir, uh, would I take uh, my dinner today, for example. Uh -huh. Es que yo estaba haciendo una, espérame, te digo, ¿cómo? Eh... Porque lo tengo que so hacer formar como pregunta. Es que no sé la verdad si está bien así la que yo tengo. Dale, decímelo. Eh, por eso hay walk, hay... Eh, ¿Cómo se pronuncia? Hay walk, se llama. Walk. Hay walk. Aquí, do you report for tomorrow? Como hacer el reporte para mañana, pero no sé, la verdad, si iría algo así. O sea, o oh, es que todavía no he comprendido muy bien eso. Vaya, dirías no, como, o sea, ahí estaría diciendo como me gustaría. Ah, ajá. Entonces puedes decir, o sea, me gustaría eh, ir a hacer, no sé, o me gustaría trabajar aquí, o no sé, algo así. O me gustaría trabajar de esto, o, o en mi trabajo me gustaría eh, hacer esto, o comer esto, uh -huh. no sé, cosas así. Entonces, con me gustaría, ella uh -huh. me la tercera sería eh, wow I please have eh, eh, que ver wow I please at the duo sería la otra no las he terminado todas. Es completar. Solo... Ajá. Ajá. Solo tenés tres ahorita. Completa las sí. otras. Ok.
sería, eh, podrías, quiero ver, podrías darme el lápiz, por favor, así se diría. Oh, y yo le puse let me. No, sería, could you give me the pencil, please? Yes, yes. Okay. Yeah. Oi. Hola, hola, ya terminé las questions. Ok, te escucho. Ok, vaya, se lo voy a decir. Could you please pass the top? The, the thing outside. La primera. Could you please take out the bathroom? Will I please shut the door? Y la cuarta sería, call you please, ordering the merchandise. Y la quinta sería, will you please sing, sing the departure time. Muy bien, compañero. Quedamos entonces pendientes cuando regresemos a la sala. Ya lo, todos tenemos ya las cinco interrogantes. Gracias. Ok. All right. Did you finish? Any volunteers? Uh -huh. Which are the most Common requests that you ask in your workplace. Uh huh. Go ahead. Well, the first, uh, only three or five. As you wish. 
Well, uh, only three. Wait. Okay. First is, could you pass me a brush? Okay. Please. Uh, could you assemble this chair, please? Uh -huh. Y la otra sería, would you take my break today? Okay. Could you take my break? Interesting. <laughs> Could I take my break, Roger? <laughs> I will ask for me. It's, it's you, yes, because uh, I want y one hour X, X, X. All right. Okay, nice. Somebody else? Anyone else wants to share about the common request that you have at work? Me teacher. All right, go ahead. Could, could you please send the report? Could you please send the report? Uh huh. Anyone else? All right. Vaya, los que no lo pueden decir en el micrófono, igual lo pueden escribir en el chat. Yes, would you mind calling the customers? Would you please print this report for me? Uh -huh. If you cannot say it on the microphone, you can still write it down on the chat, on the chat box. Uh, would you mind helping me fill all okay. the... Okay, would you mind helping me please? Uh huh. Oh, the form. Mm hmm To fill out the form. Okay. Well, there are some, yeah, on the chat from Joanna. Could you please give me that impression of that print out? Okay, could you help me with this formula? Would you help me with this email? Would you mind making a copy of this? Would you mind answering the phone? Yeah, very good. Excellent. Uh huh. Someone else? Somebody else? All right, Laura. Did you? Could you give me the pencil, please? Mm -hmm. uh, could you play music, please? Mm -hmm. I would like to make the report for tomorrow. Yes, mm -hmm. All right. In the last one, probably, could you please, or would you mind sending the report for tomorrow? All right. Mm -hmm. Natalia? Um, number one. Could you please turn off the TV? Uh, number two, go to mate giving me the data. Mm -hmm. data. Um, well, could you may come to my office? Okay, would you mind coming to my office? Mm -hmm. uh, -huh. uh Could you please call his partner? Mm -hmm. Nice. From Ricardo says, could you ask the supply manager for more paper? Could you print the report for today's meeting? Would you like to present the report to the supervisor for? Yeah. Okay. It it sounds okay, but it would be a lot better if you say, would you mind? Yeah. Would you mind presenting the report to the supervisor? Because would you like is like, ¿te gustaría hacerlo o no? Would you mind? It's like, do it. What? Please do it for me. All right. Could you please move my desk? Uh, would you like to evaluate yourself to obtain a better position? That's a, okay. That would be nice. It's just like an, an option, right? Okay, aquí les ponen una explicación del verbo request. Cuando se usa como pedir algo de forma muy amable, educada. So, request a new phone, please. Request is ask for a new phone. 
Y también se usa como noun cuando decimos varias peticiones, right? Now something as for my boss usually has many requests for me. True. True, true, true. True, no false. Okay. So. Igual que tenemos más examples. Use could and would you mind to ask for like requests? Could you call me later? Sure. Could you make 10 copies of this paper right away? Could you contact the tax support? No problem. Cuando las personas a quienes les pedimos, les solicitamos, están dispuestas a hacerlo, pues podrían responder con cualquiera de estas, right? Sure. Right away. No problem. Acá tenemos las otras peticiones, pero de una forma más polite. Would you mind calling the plan manager? Right away. Would you mind getting an appointment with the HR for me in a minute? Would you mind sending this box to the cleaning department? No problem. Y tenemos también la explicación. A star request with could you followed by Ajá. ¿Qué tenemos en paréntesis? Uh -huh. Si estamos haciendo un request con could you follow by the base form or the ing form. Esto ya lo dije. At the beginning. Base form. Base form. Exactly. No puedo decir, could you giving me? No, could you give me? Would you calling me? No, could you call me? Yes. Entonces, estamos empezando un request con could you, usamos base form. Yes. Of the main verb, any complement in place. Answer to request, could you, could you, are not normally, yes, I could. No, usualmente no decimos, yes, I could. Como cualquier otro auxiliar con el que empezamos una pregunta, no, sino que respondemos con, claro, este momento, de inmediato, con gusto, right? So the expected answer are actions that are requested or short answers like the ones in the example, como las que ya les habíamos dicho acá, ¿verdad? No decimos, yes, I could, <laughs> porque si respondiéramos así sería como, sí, podría, pero no quiero, ¿verdad? Entonces, no. Entonces, Yeah, sure, no problem, right away. Okay. Lo mismo sucede con would you mind. La, las respuestas igual van a ser así como, claro, en este momento, right? So, start a request with would you mind in the base form or the ing form? The ing form. Exactly. The ing form. And the answers are right away in a minute no problem so the expected answers with would you mind are not usually i would i would not mind no but the actions that are requested for sure answers like the ones in the examples above but si por alguna casualidad digamos alguien me pide algo de forma así super polite por ejemplo, would you mind calling this customer today? Y yo le digo, I would mind. Es como, mm, a mí sí me importaría hacer eso. O sea, no, no lo voy a hacer porque yo sí tengo problemas haciendo eso. Entonces, like, uh, no estoy teniendo la respuesta que, o la persona más bien, yo no tendría la respuesta que espera, que, que sí le ayude. ¿Sí? Si yo digo, I would mind, es como, no, no lo voy a hacer, right? Es como un poco contradictorio, porque estoy respondiendo de forma afirmativa, pero es como, a mí, a mí sí me importaría, a mí sí, yo sí tengo problemas para hacer eso. Entonces, significa que no lo quiero hacer, o no lo puedo hacer. Yes. Pero no se espera ese tipo de answers. Se podría hacer cuando uno tiene como mucha confianza con la persona. Yes. But shouldn't. 
¿Alguna pregunta? ¿Alguna duda? ¿Any question? Any question now? At one? At two? No questions. All right. All right. Teacher, yeah. eh, sí. eh, tengo una duda. Eh, uh -huh. En relación, por ejemplo, cuando queremos pedir el favor, pero así como en cuanto puedas, es como siempre la de podrías, call. Mm, o sea, como, como con mucha urgencia. Uh -huh. ¿Sí? En inglés generalmente es, las requests se hacen con, 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 con mucha, digamos con mucha calidez, se hace como, porque es un favor, soy solicitando algo. Lo que usualmente agregan es as soon as possible, como tan pronto como puedas. As soon as, ok. Ajá, o hacen una abreviación de hacer A, S, A, P, que eso es lo que realmente está haciendo la primera letra de as soon as possible, A, S, A, P. O, o as soon as you can. I mean. As soon as you can. Okay. Yes. Uh -huh. Okay. Okay. Mm, no problem. Any other question? No. Sure. Bye. Right. Aquí teníamos algunos examples. Les mostraba al inicio de polite request. Bye. Excuse me, Rene. Could you please help me send this report? Y Rene le responde. Sure, not a problem. Can you tell me the email address, please? Yes, it's Amelia Corporate at Outlook.com. By the way, would you mind attaching the report to the GM, please? Okay, Amelia, I wouldn't mind. Vale, si le queremos responder con el would mind, pero como no, no, no hay problema, es I wouldn't mind. Tendríamos que ser este wouldn't en contraction con el not. No problema. No, claro. Right. So one more time. Excuse me, Rene. Would you please send this? Would you please help me send this report? Sure, no problem. Can you tell me the email address, please? Yes, it's Amelia Corpre at Outlook.com. By the way, would you mind attaching the report to the GM, please? Okay, Amelia, I wouldn't mind. Yes. Claro, no tengo problemas. All right, this is an example in a, in a conversation, right? But as I told you, we get a lot of requests or we make a lot of requests every day at work. Bye. Tenemos estos modos. Obviamente. El más polite would. Okay. Then we got could. Less polite can and less polite will. Estos dos son como los más polite. Could and would. Recuérdense que la pronunciation de estas dos palabritas, la L no suena. Would you, would you help me clean the house? Would you bring me some coffee? Would you bring me the bill, please? Would I get your phone number? Aquí como más confianza. Can you help me study for my exam? Can you lend me the textbook? Will you answer the phone, please? Would you carry this for me? But more, 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 more polite. Would you mind helping me clean the house, yeah? Would you mind bringing me some coffee? That's very, very polite. Bye. Tratemos de completar esta, esta conversation. A ver qué hace falta aquí. Mini conversations. Ya lo vimos. So you have no problems completing this. Uh -huh. Cool. 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 
ignoremos la L en la pronunciación. Okay. Could. Could. Yeah. Uh -huh. Could you call me later? ¿Quedaría así? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Could you... Ay, no me gusta este color, pero... Wait a minute. Este color no está sobresaliendo. This one, yes. Okay. Could you... Ay. Could you call me later? Sure. Mm -hmm. Could. Could, otra vez. Yeah. Could. Could you make 10 copies of this paper right away? Next. Yeah. Uh huh. Would. Would you mind? Porque sabemos que aquí va el would you mind. Porque este está aquí. Ahí en G. Ahí en G. Would you mind calling the plant manager? And the last one? Would you mind? Would you mind? Would you mind? Thank you. Would you mind getting an appointment with the HR for me? In a minute. All right. Este estaba super easy, easy. Lemon squeezy. Okay. Give me a second. I just need to double check something right away. My goodness, my goodness, my goodness. Okay. Give me just one minute. Just need to make this clear. Mm -hmm. Bye. Okay, here we have it, this exercise. Aquí les piden crear como un mind map. Write polite request you receive or give at your workplace. Muy parecido al que hicimos anteriormente. They turn to rotate short conversations asking your partner this polite request. Aquí van a escribir como las cosas por las que ustedes generalmente solicitan ayuda o le solicitan ayuda en su trabajo. Make appointment, print this report, send this report, update this computer, check attendance, whatever, okay? Y luego van a hacer como short conversation. Por ejemplo, si yo le digo a, let's say, a Elvin, would you mind making an appointment for this coming Wednesday? Y él va a decir, sure, no problem. Oh, right away. Oh, in a minute. Sure. I'll take care of that. Okay. So, como que alguien al que le hago la, la request me responda de, de manera así como afirmativa o de, o de manera asertiva que así lo hará. ¿Ya? Entonces, vamos a tomar un tiempo. Le voy a compartir esto y lo van a realizar con sus partners. Let me just get new partners.
permitan. Yo pensé que yo solo estaba. No, aquí estoy yo. La estaba haciendo. ¿Cuántas hizo? Dos, cuatro, seis. La del centro no le hizo. ¿La del centro? No, la voy a hacer ahorita rapidito porque no hice solo una, tengo. Bye. Next. Bye. Would you wash the dishes? Um, in a minute. Eh, ahí te dije, lavarías los platos. En un minuto. Ajá. Ajá. En un minuto. Ajá. Y la última. Would you. Could you eat out here, please? Um, 
Sigur, nu e problemă. Ok. Ok. Me faltan dos. No sé cómo la, la, las tiene, pero vaya, tengo eh, sure, no problem. Solo sure. Eh, let me one a minute. Eh, in a minute. En un minuto. Que es diferente, ¿verdad? El otro. Y me faltarían dos, pero no sé cuál. Right. Right and wait. Right away. Right away. Ajá. Pero me faltan dos, no sé. Me faltan dos de llenar. Right away de inmediato. No hay problema. Ni a minute en un minuto. Sur seguro. At the moment. Es en otro momento. En este momento. Ah, en este momento. At the moment. Wow. También hay otro que escuché. Do you usually... Ah, no, pero eso es solamente cuando pides ayuda. Usually... With pleasure. ¿Y eso? Con mucho gusto. No, con gusto. Con mucho gusto. Pero ¿cómo, ¿cómo lo dijo? With pleasure. Así ve, te lo voy a escribir. With pleasure.
All right. Is there any question? Any questions? Yes. Tell me. Uh, Adigo. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh, driving the trucks. Mm -hmm. uh, taking inventory. Taking inventory, driving the trucks. Uh, break uh, a station, station every. Mm -hmm. service, service customers. Serve customers. Uh -huh. Make calls. All right. Review messages. Mm -hmm. uh, Clint. All right, nice. Somebody else? Any other participation? No more. Sure. Sure, sure. All right. Well, I think I have one last exercise for you. I'm going to give you some time to complete this exercise. I'm gonna make the I'm gonna paste the link here on the chat. Try to open it. Okay, let's see. I think this is an easy topic, okay? So let's work on this exercise. <clears throat>
Hi, did you finish? Hello? Did you finish? ¿Y lograron terminar el ejercicio? No. Yo no. Empe hice la primera parte y toda la tuve mala. Guay. I don't know. <laughs> What happened? Okay. My goodness. Vamos. It was lend me your phone, hold this letter, give me a lift, wait a second. Sorry, sorry. I've been coughing still with the flu. So let's see the answers tomorrow. Okay, don't worry. Okay, so nice. The, the first, I think that it's uh, uh, all no, no, old, uh, old, eh, viejo, verdad? Oh, yes. Old, old, yes. Oh, yeah. But hold, yeah. hold. But hold. Give uh, give the door. No, give. See, and my kids are being confused about. But it's hold the door it. open. See. Aha, aha. You think that hold photo. the door open? Aha. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. They said take my photo. Mm -hmm. and, uh, give uh. Post this letter. Give. Turn the volume down. Turn the what? Uh -huh. Turn the Wait. volume down. Es como bajar el volume. Okay. Mm -hmm. Give me a lift. Como deme right. Y después le poníamos el would you y luego el would you mind. Pero con las mismas eh, request. Okay. Lo vemos a, a ver mañana. Don't worry. We'll see it. Okay, let's have the attendance because some people have to go and work on a report. Ana Cristina. Brian. Here. David. Present teacher. Deborah. Present teacher. Doris. Elvin. Same is Cassia gone with the wind. Victor, sorry, present. Okay, present teacher. Good night. Good night, Imelda. I am here to say good night. All right, good night, Ivan. Present teacher. Good night. Good night, Joanna. Jocelyn. Present. Karen. Kevin. Laura. Maria Irma. Miguel Present Angel. Teacher. Good night. Good night. Nelson. Present. Good night. Good night. Good night, teacher. Good night. Present. Paula. Present teacher. Good night. Ricardo. Present teacher, good night. Good night. Wendy. Present teacher, good night. Good night. And Wilma. Present teacher, good night. Good night. Take care. See you tomorrow. Bye. Bye, teacher. Bye. Good night.
Good night. Good night.